together uh, our focus is on Jeremiah 29 12 then you will call on me and come to pay for me and I will listen to you in Romans 10 13 it says for everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved amen Yes. So this morning, let us go before him with thanksgiving. Let us thank him for a new day that he has given us in the land of the living. You're praying individually. I'm not going to do your prayer for you. You pray to God, thanking him for the new day he has given you in the land of the living, for yes. the week that you have had, for the journey of the year so far for your salvation, for anything you want to thank him for. This is the time of thanksgiving. Let us thank him for provision. Let us thank him for protection. Let us thank him for joining mercy. Let us thank him for the successes that we have had in all of our endeavor. Let us thank him for the provisions that he has made for us in our life. Let us thank him for the blessings that he has gained on us. It is not by will, nor by might, but by his power. Let us remember that except the Lord builds the house, those that labor, labor but in vain, that all of our accomplishments to this point has been from him, through him. You are wonderful. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us now begin to prepare our minds for the blessing of today by getting rid of all the things that are not supposed to be there. Let us fall to fall, go to him and ask for forgiveness. The Bible says that all we like sheep have gone astray, each of us in our own different ways. If we say we have no sin, we lie and we deceive ourselves, there is no truth. You know, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and able to cleanse us from all unrighteousness that's in us. Let us pray to forgive, to give us the strength to forgive those that who you have an ought against. Remember, it says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Uh, let us pray requesting for the day, the motivation and strength to walk with God today, let us ask him for it. Because Philippians 2.13 says, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his purpose. So let us ask him to give us the motivation and strength to walk with him today. Let us pray to ask for wisdom to do God's will today in all circumstances and situation. Let us pray to God to ask for grace to express him to the world around us today. Let us pray for mercy and faith to worship him this morning in truth and in spirit. Let us thank him for answered prayers. Hallelujah. Father, we worship and adore you. We exalt your holy name. We bless you that we are, we, are, we are able to come before you this morning to seek your face, to cry, Abba, Father. It's not everybody that has that opportunity. We thank you for the opportunity that we have to be able to access the throne of grace and to seek mercy this morning. Father, help us to worship you in truth and in spirit. Help our worship to rise up unto you. Holy and acceptable, a sweet smelling offering. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. What is the Lamb? Hallelujah. 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 The hymn. Oh, 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 oh,
against us he who did not spare his own son and what is it that is going to withhold from us so we come to a time that we want to just uh, truly truly declare that god is with us if, if the lord had not been with us what would the end the enemy would have eaten us alive that's what the psalmist says you know as we go just to set the stage for what we want to do we're going to share very briefly uh, our, our testimony what how the lord has shown his presence with us you know, as Jesus traveled, he was traveling to Jerusalem, 10 people with leprosy, they were standing far away because with leprosy, you are ostracized. But they asked him, right? As he said, Jesus, master, have pity on us. And Jesus told them, go show yourself to the priest. And as they went, all of them, they were cleansed, but only one of them came back. And where we are today is this, what, what is what Jesus Christ said? We are not all 10 cleansed. Where are the other nine? As no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner. Friends, today is uh, we're in the double digit days in the month of February. Today is day 41 of February. Day 41 of the year 2024. And the Lord is asking, I mean, we, many people began the year, they are no longer here. And the Lord is saying, for those of us that he has spared to see this day, to see this day, what is our testimony? What is our testimony? Let us um, unmute and what the Lord has, uh, the testimony that the Lord has given to us. All of us have a testimony because we, we have slept these last 41 days and the Lord has raised us up. So that that is a, on its own, it's a powerful testimony. We've seen Glory the Lord's the goodness. Lord. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Reverend. Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. I just want to thank God for the journey mercy he has bestowed upon our bishop and his beautiful wife. 
coming to us in New Jersey to celebrate the celebration of life for one of our sir, one of our members who deceased, Sir Williams. We thank God for the success in the celebration yesterday and for everyone who attended the funeral. We thank God for Johnny Mercy and we give honor and glory unto God for using our bishop, our father in the Lord, as a virtue yesterday to touch many lives. And for all those who came from Nigeria and London, and the bishop is able to introduce the Methodist Church Nigeria USA mission to each and every one of them. I just thank God for our mission, I mean for our bishop, for the Lord to continue to uplift the spirit and use him to touch many lives. Hallelujah. I pray that may the Lord guide and protect him and his wife back to Maryland today and grant them travel message in Jesus' name. Amen. What is the Lamb? So that we, yeah. They are going out and coming in and would protect. You know, last week when we were talking about the upcoming funeral for Sir Babatunde Adebayo Williams, Knight of uh, John Wesley, the bishop said by today to be a testimony. Amen. That, 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 is, that is what we are declaring. It was a prayer request last Saturday. It is a testimony now that Amen. the Lord has been glorified. And we know that mm -hmm. the Lord who led Bishop and his yeah. wife, uh, isn't a Yitayo to New Jersey, will bring them back to base in Boston. Amen. So that's Amen. a powerful testimony. Amen. Amen. Our going out and our coming back home. His presence Amen. is always with us. So that's a powerful Amen. testimony. And how, how the, the, the word of God was expounded and preached. And we Amen. know that God's word will not come back to him void. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. So more testimony. That's Amen. something powerful. We give you more thanks and praise Amen. for that. Lay president. Uh, the, last week, we prayed for the success of the Diocesan Council. And uh, yes, it was a, a tough meeting, but to God be the glory, a lot was accomplished. And there was camaraderie and unity at the meeting, we want to thank God for that. It is not something we take for granted because any meeting can be a make or bust meeting for any organization. We thank God for the unity that he has established in our midst. Or the word is the land. Thank you, Mr. President, for highlighting that there the Dalton Council. Yes. Yeah, you know, when people of God gather the, the enemy, the, he likes to sow seed of discord, but the Lord did not allow that to manifest. Yes, we, we are in one accord. So we thank God for our, uh, the same council that, that was held last Saturday. We give God praise. We give God praise. Yes, there's opportunity for one or more testimonies. Friends, what has the Lord done for you lately? I know he's done plenty of things for you. Plenty of things for you. I'm sure, uh, Reverend Damien Okenwa, you have it. The Lord has done so much for you. You cannot mm. tell the Lord. Now, now, Rick Elimo, what, what has the Lord done for you, my dear brother? <laughs> what is the Lamb? Hallelujah. I thank God because I can see our faces. I can see we are all alive. Mm. I thank God for the life He has given to every one of us, to our family, Amen. to the larger diocese of USA. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. You know, it says we can see our faces. You know, there's a difference between being seen and being viewed. Okay. <laughs> you know, those I mean, those that are alive are the ones that you can see. Those that are dead are the ones that you view. <laughs> okay. You know, and the Lord has given us grace that we people can see us, mm -hmm. even if it's in these little boxes, Zoom boxes. But at yeah. least we know that there is still breath. His breath is still in our lungs. Yeah. That is why we are, we are alive here. And, and, and we give God praise. So thank you. We give God for, for this coming together of God's people. Uh, any, other, any other testimony? I know that the Lord, we all went to bed last night. We woke up this morning. I mean, travel mercies. I mean, I can't just begin to remember how many accidents I saw along the road this, this week, just going around and whether it's in um, small, uh, small roads or large highways, a lot of accidents. We, I mean, we thank God for God's protection over the folks in California with the flooding. I don't maybe I mean I want to hear I, 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 I mean I don't know any I mean a lot of testimonies there with the flooding and we know there was there was loss of life but the Lord has continued to be faithful has Amen. continued to be faithful can can I have somebody take up I have one opportunity for one more before we just lift up all this testimony say so they overcame by the by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony 
because they did not love their life to the end. So what 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 testimony do you have? Somebody wants to share. I know that I don't know where Bishop is, but Bishop, where, where Bishop is giving the testimony for travel mercies. Let us with a glad some heart. Praise the Lord for his kind. Yes, uh, the wedding of my son is six years today. The, 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 the wedding of my son in Australia is six years today. Oh, and God has blessed them so much. Amen. That, uh, Amen. We, are thanking, we are thanking God on them. Amen. And uh, uh, number one, for even being a good Christian there, for being a good Christian there, because uh, uh, some of them that are here, they've forgotten about church. Mm. But, the, but the church is attended there. Yeah? It's even, uh, it's even, it's even an office are there. Uh, mm. Why, why the uh, people's church? I thank God for his life. Amen. And uh, the, the California, uh, Baba mentioned, uh, it's true. Because uh, there, there, there were no light in uh, some area here uh, for, for some times. And uh, you know the 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 Sunday something I conducted, <laughs> I I really pray to God that uh, we should that God should assist us. We thank God for this that uh, the Floyd Amen. day affect us and Amen. we stop, we stop here. Yeah. And we thank God that uh, we are all alive. What is the life? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Sir Jones, Johnson Party. Now you know we we perhaps you you caught the news about about the Marines that were traveling and their helicopter crashed. You know, and and five of them now have been de confirmed dead. You know, I mean it, it's it's not connected with the storm and the the traveling weather conditions at that time. So we, we we friends we God has spared our life. So we, I just want you to begin to just thank the Lord, even if you have not expressed a testimony. Just begin to say, Lord, I thank you. From 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 the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I give you thanks because you you have spared my life that I'm still in the land of the living. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for grace to be alive. Thank you, that, as I declare to us now, the love of many has grown cold. But here you see. Um, uh, the the uh, Papati's uh, son in Aus in Australia, some there today is six years of their wedding anniversary, and they're, they're still standing strong. That that, that is doing the work of the Lord in a very challenging place. Uh, and uh, thank you for the for for Lord sparing the lives of many people, even though some lives were lost. But God so showed Himself faithful. So let us let, let us just thank the Lord. God will just thank you. What shall we say unto the Lord? Thank you. All we thank have you. to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. And so, Lord, we just wrap up all this this time of testimony. Lord God, we have many more. If all the tongues on our head, collective heads, this morning were to become tongues, they are not enough to praise you. But, Lord God, we just give you thanks and praise, Lord God, for your travel mercies. Today, Father, Lord God, we are here. Father, Lord God, second solution hour in the month of February. Thank you, Lord God, for that we are all alive to see day 41 of 2024. Many started this year, they are no longer with us. We are particularly thankful, Father, Lord God, for your travel mercies for our bishop, our father in the Lord, right, Reverend Ifan Jukunwadi and his wife, uh, Ezine Yitayonwandi, and all those who traveled from far and near for the celebration of the life of Sir Babatunde Adebayo Williams Knight of John Wesley yesterday in New Jersey. Thank you, Lord God, that you will, be, you will leave all of them safely back to their various destinations. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for our decision council that we held last week, February the 3rd. Thank you, Lord God, that it was, yes, a, a challenging meeting, but Lord, you took preeminence. We Jesus. give you thanks and pray. Thank you, Lord God, that we all can see one another's face. And are we yet alive? That's the hymn writer telling us to see each other's face. Thank you, Lord God, that we can see we are not lying down prostrate and people are viewing us in a box, in a coffin. We give you thanks and praise. We just thank you, Lord God, for your grace. Thank, thank you, Lord God you. Almighty, for uh, Pap, uh, Johnson Party's testimony regarding their song who's celebrating the sixth year anniversary today in Australia. Thank you, Lord God, for the many more years that you will grant them for the fruit of that union, for the many blessings. We use that as a point of contact to others. Thank you, Lord God, for the protection for our people, Lord God, during the, the devastating weather that occurred in, uh, in California. And we pray, Lord God, that your grace will continue to be upon all those, Lord God, that were impacted. We pray, Lord God, that your grace 
will just continue to be with all of us. Lord, we just lift up all these testimonies to you that you will seal them with the blood of the Lamb. We pray, Lord God, that as we are all rejoiced and shared in the joys of those rejoicing today, Father Lord God, come next Saturday, Lord, people will also hear our own testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, precious Father in heaven. We give you all the thanks and praise, and we seal all this with the blood of the Lamb, and we pray, Lord God, that you give us even greater testimonies next week, all to your praise and glory. Thank you, gracious Father in heaven. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we have all testified with thanksgiving. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Old Testament reading this morning will be taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 28, verses 10 to 22, and I'll be reading from New International Version. Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran. When he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones there, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to the heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. There above it stood the Lord, and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father, Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Amen. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I was not aware of it. He was afraid and said, How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Early next morning, Jacob took the stone he had placed under his head and set it up and set up a pillar and pour oil on top of it. He called that place Bethel. Through the city, though the city used to be called Luz. Then Jacob made a vow saying, if God be with me and will watch over me on this journey I am taking and will give me food to eat and clothes to wear, so that I return safely to my father's household. Then the Lord will be my God. Mm. And this stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house. And all that you give me, I will give you a tenth. May God bless reading his holy word. Amen. Our New Testament reading, is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 8 to 10, and then 16 to 20. Again, I'll be reading from New International Version. So the woman hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Verses 16 to 20 now. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshiped him. But some doubted. Then Jesus said to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you to the very end of the age. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. 
Wadi Wadi is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wadi Wadi is the Lamb. Hallelujah. May the our Heavenly Father bless every one of us and the reading of His Word in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate the leadership of this diocese, starting from our Father, the Right Reverend Himself. He has been a Father to all of us, spiritually and otherwise. I appreciate God for his life, his family, and the diocese at large. Our late president, may God bless all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Join me in this brief song. He's with me always. Oh, he's with me all times. He's my loving friend, my savior all the times. He's with me always, oh, he's with me all times. He's my loving friend, my savior all the time. Jesus, he's with me always, oh, he's with me all times. He's my loving friend, my savior all the times. He's with me always, he's with me all times. He's my loving friend, my savior all the times. Our Lord and our Father, we appreciate your grace and your ever abiding presence. We thank you because you are with us and we are always a con conqueror. You are with us, we are always overcomers. You are with us. And nothing has been against us because of your presence. As we go into your word, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditations of the hearts of your people, Lord, in this moment, will Lord be acceptable in your sight. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brethren, I bring us greetings once more this morning. I thank God for the month of February. Our Lord Bishop has declared it a month of favor, a month of blessing, and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. From the scriptures we read this morning, what reflects in both Old Testament and New Testament is the presence of God. And this moment, I want to let us know that God is with us. Amen? That God is with us. I want to assure us, I want to make us to clear our doubts, whatever is it that is creating doubt in our hearts that God is not with you, is not of God. Anything creating doubt, anything that, any circumstances, every situation that makes you to doubt, to ask, is God there for me? Is God with me? Is not of God, brethren. The knowledge of the presence of God clears these doubts. When you know that God is with us as he has promised to be with us, our hymn that we sang in the beginning of this uh, program said that God is with us as he was with our fathers. He has promised of, us of his ever abiding presence. And I want us to know it and grab it and hold on to it that this God is with us. Praise the Lord. If you, if you look at Genesis where we read, Jacob was like, I'm not aware that God is with me here. It was only when God spoke to him, say, oh, God was even with me. I didn't know. Before he came to know it, he was afraid. He was scared. But when he came to know that, when he came to realize that God is with him, he exclaimed, so God is with me here and I did not know. Brethren, I want to assure us, in this month of February, whatever we are going through, whatever situation, whatever condition we may find ourselves, I want to let us know that God is with us. And because he's with us, those circumstances will not have anything to do against us. They will only refine us. They will only modify us. They will only take us to where God wants us to be. In Romans 28, the Bible says that everything works together for the good of those who are called by God. We are God's chosen. We are God's select. When we pass through what us, as Isaiah 43 has said, God is with us. When we pass through fire, he's with us. In the time of sickness, in the time of sorrow, in the time of rejoicing, in the time of loneliness, in the time of difficulty, God is with us. As he was with Jacob and as he was with the apostles of the old, 
Today, he is with us in the Diocese of USA. He is with us in Methodist Church, Nigeria. He is with every believing, every believer, every Christian. God is with us, for he has promised to be with us even to the end of ages. I want to let us know this. And when we know this, we will not give the enemy chance anymore to intimidate us. We will not give the enemy chance anymore to harass us. We will not give the enemy chance anymore to let to, to see away the faith that should be in us. I want to let us know, brethren, that doubt or fear cannot coexist with faith. Have this faith in you. Have this mind in you that God is with you in whatever circumstance, in whatever situation. Even if it is your last breath, use that your last breath to affirm and to assure yourself that God is with me in this situation. And when you do that, you will know and you will see that you will be an overcomer. Jacob was running away from his brother, from where we read, by the direction of his mother. He said, run, run for your dear life. He was running for his dear life. And the Bible said that when the sun set, he decided to rest. Even, on, even when he was sleeping on stone, God is with him. Even in the time of fear and worries, God was with him. And in our own time, in our present dispensation, Jesus has promised to be with us. Jesus has said, I will be with you to the end of ages. Everything happening around the world can cause one to be afraid. Everything happening around you can make you to be, to be worried. But I want to let us know, I want to assure us, I want to make this clear to us this morning that come whatever may happen. Bible said that 10,000 shall fall by your side and 1,000 by the other side, but none shall come around you, none shall come near you because God is with you. God is with us. Look at the apostles of the old, the, 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 the disciples where we read in, Genesis, in Matthew chapter 28. In verse 8, it says, they left the tomb. When they were living, they were living fearful. They were afraid. But when they noticed the presence of Jesus, they rejoiced with joy. God's presence brings joy. God's presence brings, it will, it will hush your fear. When you realize, when you know, when you believe that God is with you. In this month of February and beyond, I declare that the presence of God will go with us. The shaft of the king will be in, in among us. In whatever we shall do, in whatever we shall say to do, in our offices, in our families, in our relationship, in everything we shall do in this month and beyond. God is with us to bring us that declared favor that our Father and the Lord had declared unto us this month. God is with us to bring it unto us in his reality, in his tangible form. God will bring it unto us in your family, in your business, in your over your children, over every affair of your life. God will bring to God will bring that hard desires of yours that are not evil to let you know, to make you believe that He's with you. I remember by this time last week, I was I was not feeling so good. I was emotionally down. But after the prayers of the saints. I was made to understand that God is with you. And I claim this, and that reminded me of this scripture. When I have never even known that I will be the one here this morning, God reminded me of this scripture, that I am with you. And that was joy, joy that knows no bound filled my heart. I want you to be like that unto you, child of God. In whatever circumstance, in whatever situation, look at what Bible likened it in Isaiah 43. Say, when you pass through waters, when there's flooding, God is with you. When there's fire outbreak, God is with you. On the road, God is with you. On the air, God is with you. When you sleep, when you wake up, God is with you. And when you have this mind, it will give you joy. It will give you peace. It will give you peace and joy that, yes, my father is with me. Not just in this month of February. He said, I will be with you to the end of ages. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Like the apostles, let's go with this mind. Let's go with this mind. Let's go with this power, knowing that God is with you, knowing mm. that God is with us. And let us not just keep keep it to ourselves. Let not just hold it to ourselves. Let us 
They send it to our family members, to our colleagues in the office. Whenever they are passing through difficulties, let them know that God is with them. Because he has promised to be with us. Say, let us go all the, to all, tell all the nations. Go around everywhere. Let people know, the people that should know it, to know that whatever they are passing through, that God is with them. I remember this time last week, we prayed for one of our sisters that were passing through, that were having health challenges. I was happy that last Sunday during our Bible study, it was testified that, that our sister is healed, that, that mm. our sister is well again. That is what God can do. That is one of the things that he has done for us. And that is greater things shall he do when we know that he's with us. Brethren, I want to leave us with a few words this morning. That God is with us. He will never fail. He did not fail Jacob. He did not fail our, our father Abraham. He did not fail Isaac. He will not fail you in your own time. In your mm -hmm. own situation, in your own circumstances, in that's your time, in that in the time of trouble, in the time of difficulty, he will not fail you, he will be with you. If you have this faith, maybe well with you, mm -hmm. maybe so with you. And I will see you testify coming week by this time that yes, God showed me that He's with me. Let it be your portion, let it be our portion in the name of God the Father Amen. and of the and of Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Is the Lamb. Is the Lamb. Hallelujah. It is time to pray. And I'd like us to unmute. This is the month is still fresh. The lesson. God is with us. God is with us. Did you know it? And if you believe God, it will be saying again. God is with me. God is with me. I want you to sing it this way. I want you to personalize it. Personalize it. God is God with me. God is 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 with me. is with me. Be with my family. Be with me when I'm going out. Mm. Be with me when I am going in. In the place of work. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray to you the days. So, in this month of February. this morning. Be with me. Be with me. Be with me. In my going out and in my coming in. The Bible says, if God be for all, if God be for all, who can be against you? <laughs> If God be for you, if God be for you, what measure, what thing can be against you? If God stands by you, what can pull you down? If God be for me, ha -ha, can you pray that prayer? Oh God, one thing I ask from you this morning, Lord, be with me. Ah, be with me in every difficulty. Be with me in every challenge. 
Deal with me in everything I do. Everything I engage, it's a very serious prayer. It may look very simple, but I want you to pray. Oh, it God be for you. It God be for you. And then we say, no, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. What makes you bold? What makes you strong? If God with you, if God with you, God with you is what gives you the confidence. God is with you. With you is what gives you the resolve. God with you is what gives you the answer. Aha, aha. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of it, I will not be upset. Why? God is with me. If God be for you, what can pull you down? God, be with me in the month. Be with me in this year. Be with me in the place of work. Be with me when I am traveling, when I am going in, when I'm going out. God, be with me. Let me parashat in the if God be for you, nothing can make you afraid. Mm. If God be for you, you cannot fail. Mm. If God be by your side, that's when he said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of it, I will not fear. Why? God is with me. I speak to somebody in this month, in this year, God will be with you. God Amen. will be with you when you are going out. God Amen. will be with you when you are coming in. I want Amen. you to pray again. Oh Lord, reveal your will in my life. Amen. Reveal your will. The Bible says, where, where did Jacob lie down? God revealed. And said, the way you are lying down, I will give to you. If Amen. God revealed his plan for you, you will know where to direct yourself. Amen. If God revealed his plan for you, you will know where to go. Can you open your mind and say, Lord, in 2024, Reveal the blueprint of this year. Reveal your will. He said, I know the plans I have for you. It is the plan of good and not of evil. So give you an expected end. Open your mind and say, God, in this prayer mountain, in this solution hour, reveal your will. <laughs> reveal your will. When God reveals his will, you will not give up. Even in the time of trouble, in the time of hardship, you will not give up. Open your mind and say, God, reveal your will. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray again and say, still in that Bible passage, the Bible says, your descendant will be as the dust. Your descendant will be as the dust. We want to pray and say, oh God, increase me. Increase my, my family. Enlarge. Let me say it. Let me pray, pray. I say, enlarge my books. Enlarge my books. Enlarge my territory. Say, Lord, open your mind and say, Lord, your word in the Bible we read in Genesis chapter 28. He said, I will, your daughters, your, your children, your descendants, your seed. Will, will be at the doors of the earth. We shall not be few. The diocese of USA, Lord, enlarge, divine enlargement, enlarge us, Lord. There is a catalan on all. In the Bedemedo, the Bedosha, in Tara, La Bolo, Jagan, the Baran, in Terrible Sutala, Lord. And large, Lord, we shall be more. I shall not be few. In this year, I shall not be few. I we shall not be few. My family, we shall not be few. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Amen. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name, we pray. Pray, Amen. Amen. Simply mean, let it be so. What you have prayed, let it come to pass. I said, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, we take one so you pray. I want us to pray. He said, enlarge. Let us pray and say, Lord, the thousands of you say, we will not be few. Enlarge. He said, we shall be like the dust. Like the, like, like the dust in the seashore. Open your mind and say, Lord, enlarge the thousands. Enlarge. Wherever our sons are, wherever our children are, bring them forward. We shall enlarge. We shall enlarge. In every capacity, open your mind and begin to pray. And say, Lord, we shall pray. We shall pray. We shall pray in 2024. Increase our territory, Lord. Increase our bond, Lord. Us to we shall spread to the north, we shall spread to the south, we shall spread. He said, Thy seed shall be like the dust of the air, and thou shalt spread. Thy seed shall be like the dust of the air, and thou shalt spread. 
Open your mouth and say we shall pray. Call the houses to pray. Call the people to pray. We shall pray from the north. We shall pray from the west. If we shall pray from the east coast, we shall pray from the north coast. The houses are praying. The houses are praying from the east. Develop, increase us and enlarge us on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shall not listen to this experience in the Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Thank you, because the church of God shall much on him. The Lord appeared unto him, and, and uh, Isaac said, If you will keep me from evil, I will return. Want us to pray, Lord, in two. Whatever you give me, from all evil. oh Lord, be with me and keep me from all evil this year, 2024. Keep me from all. Give me a Lord and light. Give me an all that I ought to give you will be unto you. Behold, I am with you. I will keep thee in all places where thou goest. I will be, I will bring thee again into the land which I have promised. Open your mind and say, Lord, keep me from all demons. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Please, can we listen to one or two, three prayer points before we run up? Is there anybody that have a specific need and you want the church to pray for you on this prayer mountain, in this solution hour? Please, can you say your prayer point? God bless you. I still, I still need us to still pray for me for stability here, for stability, for academic excellence. I know but, God has helped me. The only challenge I have is to uh, adapt to the system where I've come, that God will give me speedy adaptation. Amen. That God will help me to navigate amen. the system. Amen. 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 Stability in Amen. academic pursuit, excellency in all works yes. by Reverend Damian and any other person. Yes. There is a prayer point yes. on Somebody the chat. Somebody has to the prayer point and, and Dr. Maria said we should pray for the children, pray for the children and the entire household. Any other prayer point? Let us continue to pray for the diocese for God to grant wisdom to know how we establish the necessary clusters all over this nation in the mighty name of Jesus for his glory. Wisdom and and the face of the diocese and every other thing. Yes, any other? The last one, any other? Okay. Since we don't have any other one, can we pray and ask grace upon Reverend Damian, stability, wisdom, Excellency as the force upon the light of Daniel. The Bible said the Lord, the spirit of excellence was upon his life. Let the spirit of excellence, so that was upon the light of Daniel, let it be upon him. The spirit of the Bible says, Is there anyone that lacks wisdom? Knowledge, let him ask of him that freely Let's not be about the to speak to God. Let us also and this song bring the children and the family of uh, uh, Dr. Maria in the hand of God. Let's ask God for oh, protection. Let's ask God that God will enlighten. God will protect the family. God will protect the children. God will secure the children. God will make them great. Open your mind and begin to pray. Open your mind and talk to God about the, the, the family and the children of our sister. And let's open your mind and begin to talk to God. Let's pray for this young diocese. The Bible says where we read. And the Lord is in God, will increase, will increase from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Let's pray for and the knowledge, the wisdom to pilot that phrase. A thousand is still young. 
Thou is made God intervention. Thou is God Amen. Amen. Let's pray. And, and, and uh, Jacob said, Oh, the law was in this place, and I was not aware. Mm. I did not know. Mm. One to pray one prayer said, Oh Lord, may I not be ignorant of your presence. Mm. Mm. Let me not be ignorant. Ah, so charm. God was here instead of making advantage. Instead of making use of God's presence, I didn't know. Oh, now I know. What does the prayer? I will not in this 2024. I shall never be ignorant of Amen. God's presence. I will not be ignorant. Can you pray that prayer? Pray it with meaning. As I am going, I shall never be ignorant. I will not be ignorant. Of God's praise and alleviation. If you don't know my character, you never know. Liberty, it is the presence of the Lord that makes anyone rich. He said, in his presence, there is fullness of joy. In his presence, there is there is healing, there is liberty. So that the captives are set free. How then will you be in God's presence? And then you are ignorant. How then will you be in God's presence? We are supposed to activate. We you're supposed to make use of God. So then you are not aware. Open your mind and say, Lord, in 2024, as I join it into your prison, may I never be ignorant in of your presence. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Precious Lord, we thank you. Because where your presence is, there is liberty. Amen. Where your presence is, there is healing. Amen. Healing to anybody who is sick now. Amen. Wherever there is sickness in your body, by God's divine presence, I Amen. command healing into your system. Amen. I command healing into your family. Amen. I command healing into your marriage. Amen. I command healing into your business. Amen. I command healing into your endeavor. Amen. I command healing to your hands. Amen. What doctors couldn't do, what doctors couldn't understand, Amen. by the divine presence of God, receive your healing now. Amen. In, the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 That in this year, we will enlarge, we will increase. Amen. Our, the diocese will enlarge, will increase. Amen. 2024. Amen. We will spread from the north, from the north coast, the west coast, Amen. the east coast. We will spread. Amen. The diocese will spread and overtake and recover all. Thank you, bless your Father. All to this shall be declared glory, honor, Amen. and majesty. In Amen. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. What is, what is, what is the Lamb? Hallelujah. We give God all the glory for a wonderful solution, our version 22. We appreciate the members of our diocese in New York, New Jersey, for their love and care. May the Lord replenish them abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. We appreciate everyone on this solution mountain today. And we appreciate all those that will come to watch this program. And our prayer is that God will make this program a channel of solutions to everyone that comes to view it, to his mm -hmm. own glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we round up, we'll be taking a few prayers, prophetic prayers, and we just ask God to show himself. Great and mighty in our midst. Hallelujah. What the what is the Lamb? Now still still ministering in the knowledge of the Lord's presence. You know, Moses was asking the Lord that that if if, if your presence will not go with us, do not send us away from here. And yes. the Lord promised Moses in um, Exodus 33, verse 14, that my presence will go with you <laughs> and Amen. I will give you rest. So Amen. the Lord's presence has been with us from day one to day 41. Now say that. 
to from the, the remaining 325 days of 2024 that mm. you, will, you will be aware, fully aware of the Lord's presence and you Amen. will enter his rest. Now let's begin to pray. That is what God says. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. He promised that, he made that promise to, to Jacob. And because we are heirs of that, those blessings that through the promise to the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that all nations of the earth will be blessed. You are, you are part of that benefit. To claim it, I say, Lord, in the remainder of 2024, 325 days, your presence will go with me, and I will, I will enjoy your rest. I will enjoy your rest. Anyone that attempts to talk to me, Father, you will trouble. Paul says, "Behold, I bear on my body the marks of Jesus Christ. Let no one trouble me." That as you serve the Lord, as you walk the straight and narrow path, that anyone who troubles you, the Lord will trouble them. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, gracious Father in heaven, for your presence. We give you thanks and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. In Second Kings chapter six. You know, when the when the Arameans, when they surrounded, when they came to Dothan, the, the, the servant of the man of God was afraid. They say, Oh, what are we going to do? But but the, the servant, the Elisha prayed, say, Lord, open his eyes. Mm. Let him see that those that are with us are more than more those than that are against us. Them. And then John later wrote, first John chapter 4, verse 4, that greater is he who is in us than the one who is in the world. Amen. So when, when we know that, we cannot be afraid. So I yes. God, because you are those with me, the chariot of fire around me, around my home, and the one who is in me, says, you know, better of the house of God. Now, believers, now we are the temple of the living God. The spirit in the house that because of that, that would be more than a conqueror in 2024. In begin to pray, Lord, because you are with me and you are greater than the one that is in the world, I am more than a conqueror. Victory is mine. Victory is not the, the dark of my family. Our houses will experience victory. Our, our conference will experience victory. As we arise and build, we will do so miraculously because the Lord is with us. The Lord will put all opposition to shame. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father in heaven. We give you thanks and praise. And I wanted to pray now. Say, Jesus appeared to the disciples. They said they, said they worshiped, but some of them doubted. <laughs> They say some of them doubted. That's pray that in, in 2024, you yeah. will never doubt God's presence. There are no doubt from me. Yeah, that, that, that God remove every spirit of doubt. They, say they worship, they saw the spirit of Christ in the flesh, but Crazy. some of them doubted. That yeah. that anybody who doubts cannot hope to receive anything okay. from the Lord. Ask that in 2024, there will not be any spirit of doubt. Yes, there will not be any spirit of doubt. Will not arise. That any spirit of doubt will not will not have dominion over me. That any spirit of doubt will not limit what we're going to be able to do for Jesus in this 2024. Lord, we pray that Father God, your presence will be with us. And Father God, we will give us your rest. Thank you, gracious Father in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 says, But the Lord said, I know the plans I have for you. Thank you, Father. The future filled with hope. Say that, Lord. I tap into that promise made to the Israelites. Oh, that, that Lord, you will, you, you, that you give me a future filled with hope. I will come to testify. In the middle of 2024, I will be testifying of your goodness and your mercy. Say, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all, follow me. all the days of Lord, my life. All the remainder of 2024 and beyond, your goodness and your mercy will follow me. And I will testify to your goodness. Thank you, Jesus, Father in heaven. We give you all the thanks and all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have all have prayed prophetically. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you. It's not a man that you should lie. What you say, yes. Father yes. God, you do, and what you yes, do, Lord. declare. Yes. And so, yes. Lord God, we, we, we claim, Father yes. God Almighty, the promises, Lord God. Abraham's blessings are ours. We are blessed in the morning. We are blessed in the evening. Abraham's yes. blessings are ours. We, yes. Father God, we, we claim the prophetic blessings, Lord God, that you would enlarge our code. You yes. will arise and build individually. We will arise yes. and build, Father God, corporately, even as a diocese, yes. to your grace and glory. Yes. Father God, we remove every spirit of down. Father Amen. God, because we know the one who is us is infinitely greater than the one who is in the world. Thank Amen. you, Jesus, Father, Thank in heaven. You, Father. We just declare your presence. We declare your grace that Amen. this will be a month, a month of supernatural abundance, Amen. favor. Father Amen. God, we declare it. So shall it be in the name of God, the Father, God, the Amen. Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.
Amen. Boldness, let us all testify together. Grace in fellowship, the grace of Jesus, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and abide in us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 What, is, what, is, what is the love? Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.